Hey everyone, welcome to North Central. Thanks for tuning in, it's always appreciated. We are off on another little adventure and we are gonna go look at an old iron furnace built back in the 1830s. Just so happened I stumbled across this online, had no idea that it was anywhere around this area. And you know, it has to do with coal and the railroad. So I wanna go take a look at it. Thought I'd bring you with us, learn a little bit of history about the general area here. Now we are at Cooper's Rock State Park in just outside Morgantown, West Virginia. And if this is the kind of video that you think it might interest you, then don't go anywhere. So in about 30 seconds, the adventure begins. basically just started down this path our trail sorry if we're weaving and bobbing up and down here a lot as I'm walking but we got about a mile or so to go right now it's all downhill which is great when you're going to it it's really gonna be terrible when we come back up that's okay When we find something interesting, I'll bring you back. There's a nice little one right there, and the camera doesn't do it justice. That thing's as big as an F-150. Big, big rocks. Pretty area. Big old nice trees. Nice shaded path. Finally leveled out. Like I said, sorry about the, the shaking. I did get a, a gimbal, but I'm still trying to figure out how to use it. So I'm in my regular rig here that I got. goes up right there up into there maybe I'll come back sometime do some exploring up in there you know when you talk about an old furnace like this there had to be workers and back in them days I mean literally you're out here in the middle of nowhere so they had to have accommodations that were fairly close 1830s pre-civil war you know I mean I don't know All right, well, do some more walking. Okay, so we're coming up on a little area here. And, oh, there it is. Huh, there's the back side of it. Wow, hang on, let me turn the camera around. That's the back side of it. So we're gonna continue on down the path here. Get to it. Absolutely fantastic. Very cool. It's pretty big.
And it looks like there's an opening here that you can get up in maybe. Oh, there is, you can get right up inside it. Oh, well, you know we have to get up in there. So, oh, that's just awesome. A little bit of graffiti. Oh, this is just really, really cool. We got a couple pictures here. That's the way we came in. Very, very awesome. Very, very cool being in here. Eighteen thirties. What a piece of history. All right, crawling back out. So I'm not really sure exactly how they produced the pig iron. I know that they would layer charcoal, iron ore, and then limestone. And they would just keep layering it and keep packing it in. And then they would light it. And like I said, I don't know exactly how they did it, but I know that they would light it. And back in them days, back in here, I mean, this is coal country, so you're looking at either wood or coal, and I'm assuming coal. They would bring it up to temperature, and of course the iron ore would melt, and they'd put it into um, big sand pieces and make blocks out of it. And they would have to get it out of here. And we're in the middle of nowhere, literally in the middle of nowhere. So I'm I'm wondering if they didn't pack it out on horses or mules or maybe they had a train. So I'm gonna look around here just a little bit, see if I can't find anything, poke around, any remnants of some type of uh, history from the past. So I was reading this and I saw this picture here and I was like, man, look at all the structures around here. And then of course I read down here, no photos exist of the Henry Clay Iron Furnace or community. These fo this photo here is from the Springfield Iron Furnace in PA in the 1870s. So like I said, I'm gonna take a little gander around here, see if I can't find anything of any type of anything that was left behind. So, we're on our way back. There's a family that showed up with little kids and they're yelling and screaming. They didn't seem like they were gonna go anywhere. So that's all right. We got other places to go too. But very interesting place. Huge part of history in these parts with when it comes to making iron. Um, I read on the placard that they always built these next to the resources. So you're talking the timber that they used. They said they used timber for fuel. And then of course the iron ore and everything else that it took to produce the pig iron. 
there was a whole big community here. This thing fired 24 hours a day, seven days a week, trying to produce as much as they could. That takes a lot of people. Things decay pretty quickly out here. Get covered up, dirt moved. There's, you know, large creeks down there. They, they bury things. So they might not ever find anything, I don't know. I would be interested to see how they carried the pig iron out of here. Whether it was on horse or trailer or cart or train or, you know, whatever. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, of course, subscribe. We love having you here. Once you do that, go over to the bell notification and hit all notifications. That way, whenever I upload a video, you'll know it. So I was just walking down the path. I happened to look over. I saw something down here in the woods. We're going down here to check it out. Something? You see the rocks, how they're, they're flat and laid in there? Maybe this was some worker's house or some other building or structure. See the, the big long rock right here? How it like, looks like it's almost quarried. Right? And they're laid in there. here like ditches and stuff there I don't know what we'll deal with that's definitely an old structure of some kind right there it looks like there's a trail right here of some kind it used to be there just walk this trail just a little bit there's a lot of a lot of thorns so here's some more rocks but I don't know maybe here some nice flat rocks Of course, there's a lot of moss over everything. But that one that was over here, that was definitely a foundation of a structure. The rest of all this, you know, who knows? Okay, well. And get back up on the trail all right guys so we're about halfway down this trail here and i'm uh just gonna get out of here get back to the truck take off from home enjoy the rest of my evening with my kids hope you liked the video and until the next one thanks for watching